Let me show you how to create this effect. Let's create a composition. At the beginning, I want to work on the background. And to create this background, I will use a text layer with dots. A couple of dots like this. I will change the tracking here. I think it's great, but I will change the color to yellow. Drag it to the top edge. To animate these dots, I will use simple text. So select the layer and hit simple text. And now I have an animator to create the animation that I want. So I will create a scale animation from 0 to 100. One second later, from 100 to 0, like this, okay? I will easy easy these keyframes and use the graphic editor to make it smoother. This is the animation that we have now, but I will add some details to this animation. I will add a wiggle in the position property and this wiggle will have two and a half of frequency and 15 of amplitude. And I will apply the same wiggle in the X rotation and the Y rotation. By the full, the animation used to be centered at the middle of the character, but in this case, the dot is a little character, stays uh, below. We will have to adjust the anchor point, so the animation will be centered with the character. The same value that I use in the anchor point, I will use in the position too. Just adjust the Y position of both. I like this animation, so what I will do now is copy and paste this dot several times to have a completely filled background. Let me adjust the leading. I will need some more lines here. Just paste it again. What I need to do now is reapply the simple text so it will act in our characters. I will adjust the delay to 0, 1 and enable the rundown in point. Now let's create the word. Just type fast and I will set it to blue. And reset the tracking. Can you hear Lucas at the background? He's a very happy boy. <laughs> okay, I applied a transform. And now I will apply a simple text to this layer and we'll create a new animation to, from the bottom to the center and from the center to the top very easy and what I will do now is I will use the week to apply a spring effect 
you can if you know an expression that do that you can do it manually just adding the expression to the parameter but if you don't you can download for free the wig and apply the spring and now this is the animation that we have in the controller and this is the animation that we have in the text I will duplicate this layer and move a little to the bottom and change the color to red so we have a kind of dynamic shadow on it And now it's done, fast and easy, I hope you like it, bye bye.